But like, you know, Americans, I mean, it's something there, they, they, they like folklore, they like history. And I, I, I traveled, I finally left Ireland, and the first place I went was America. It's fucking brilliant! You should go! They're fucking crazy! They're, I tell you, they're the most unbelievable people, but I mean, I've got a very strange idea, because the first place I went was Alabama. <laughs> I was like, my God, I couldn't believe it. Those people speak so slowly. <laughs> Have you met these Alabamans, yeah? They speak so slowly, you can make your fucking dinner before they finish saying hello. It was crazy. And I met a Kerry priest over there, and he was like, Fuck you guys, fuck you. How's you? You know, and I said, do you talk like that? He goes, no, I just do it for the fucking tourists. <laughs> I'm like, is it working for you? He says, I'm getting laid every fucking way. Man. Look at those black rings on my eyes. I'm dying here. He says, keep that shit up. It's working for me. He got me a job in a landscaping company. And I mean, what do you do with an Irish guy? You put him on the black crew. Because the black crew did all the fucking hard work and the other guys did fucking nothing, you know? So I'm working with the black guys and I was going, yeah, yeah, Irish, black, Irish are the blacks of Europe and Dublin are the blacks of Ireland. So what's up, motherfucker? <laughs> and they said, are you speaking to me? <laughs> I was like, for fuck's sake. What's going on? And uh, the boss comes up to me, the boss, and he hands me a bunch of keys, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> They're funny fuckers, man, I tell you. He says to me, <laughs> Will I? <laughs> Would you stop laughing, you're fucking me up? Uh, I'm not used to laughter, I'm used to total silence. It's the bomb, for fuck's sake. And, uh, so, is anyone from Bond here? <laughs> Not anymore, okay. The guy with the hair somewhere, okay. But uh, yeah, the Alabama guy, he turns around and he says, here's my keys. I want you to go around back and pick up my pickup truck and drive it all the way around front. I was like. <laughs> and I woke up and I went, oh, you mean today? Oh, fucking today? Problem, yeah. I'm in the fucking car, and the cars are as slow as the fucking people. They're engineered. You don't have to do anything. You get into the car. This thing, I needed a fucking ladder to get into the car. You know, fucking four wheel drive. It was like, <laughs> the fucking ladder. There's a pole to get back down again. No offense, sorry. Um, so, you know, I get into the car, the door closes, and all these fucking lights turn on, and somebody goes. Welcome. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I get into, and all you have to do is put it into D. You know? They don't even have a fucking gear stick. It's just D. And it's like fucking brilliant. The whole thing moves and they're going, I could kill people in this. You know? I'm like, you know, because I'm tiny. I don't know if you noticed. If you think I'm far away, no. <laughs> I'm the same fucking size when I'm over there. I'm fucking tiny. I fucking, oh Jesus, I was born with a big mouth and a fucking tiny body. <laughs> that is a bad. And I'm still alive, yeah. It's amazing. Are you fucking great? Where are you from? Where are you? You're Linda. You're Canada. It's Miss Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Yes. You empathize with hey, what do you mean I'm still alive? You don't know how much childhood pain you're bringing back to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the kids in the kindergarten beat the shit out of me. I know. I was 16, you fucker! <laughs> 16, they beat the shit out of me. I was like, man, this is a bad combination. I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with my life? I know, when I grow up, I'm gonna be rich and famous. I didn't fucking grow up. I'm still 
still the same fucking time. <laughs> and I'm not rich. And I'm not fucking rich. This is shit. So I said, there's got to be a better way. I said, I'll Todd, I'll do something. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll think of a career. I know. I'll be an architect. And I thought, fucking brilliant. An architect. All you have to do is you wear a yellow hat, you walk onto a building site, and you go, do you see that building? Put it over there. <laughs> you see that window? Take it out of there and put seven of them on that wall. And pick up that fucking sandwich. <laughs> And then you get back in your Mercedes Benz, four by four, and you fuck off! That's it! So I says, what can possibly go wrong? I'll study architecture. Five fucking long years later, I drew enough bricks to last me a jail sentence. It was, it, this fucking backdrop reminded me of it. I was like, oh Jesus, Vietnam, I could feel the fucking helicopters. And I was studying in Waterford, that fucking inbred fucking place you come from. Jesus Christ, there was two pubs. And if you got drunk, you ended up in the gay one. It was shit. And I'm too small, I was like, hmm, he'll do, he's not going to resist. 